Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 515. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 514 to 515. Hey, uh, just two videos ago, I did an amortization table, and uh, there were a few questions about how to do something slightly different. Here's what we want to do in, in this one. We want to put extra payments in this column and have the loan pay off early. We also want to see two other things. We're going to look at uh, custom number formatting to clean up the appearance. And we're going to uh, see how to try and alter formulas, mess up, get totally frustrated, and then figure out from that how to fix the formula. So part of this video is going to be about troubleshooting formula creation. Let's go over here. Uh, in this video, and I've done a bunch of other amortization uh, videos with lots of tricks, I'm not going to have a variable uh, number here. I'm just going to put 0, 1, establish a pattern, <coughs> and copy it down all the way to there. That way, it d doesn't really matter. The, we'll have the numbers turn on and off depending on when the loan is paid or uh, when it's paid off early, et cetera. But the labels over there will just remain all the way to 360. So really, the 360 is the max. All right, now we want to definitely be able to put 20 here and have the total number of periods, which is just 12 times 20. And then, of course, that formula takes the rate, whatever it is, and divides it by the number of periods. All right, uh, we're just going to do our straight pay payment table. And then we're going to add something over here, get into trouble, and we're going to have to figure out how to change all of our formulas. All right, so. Uh, equals minus PMT, and we need our rate. We'll take uh, this rate right here. That's the period rate, always the period rate. Banker would love it if you would use your monthly payment with the annual rate, because then your payment would be higher. But all right, number of periods, that one. And I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it going down in front of the row reference, comma. And the present value will be this one locked uh, going down. Close parentheses. No future value amount lump sum at the end or no type. We don't need it because the default is end of the month payment, which this is. Interest is always, hey, whatever balance there was in the account from the month before. Notice that's a relative cell reference times our period rate. Principal is whatever uh, the payment minus uh, the interest um, contractually extracted by the contract. Oh, look, we send in that much, we get that much off our debt. So what's the uh, formula for balance equals uh, the balance from <coughs> the month before minus the amount that the banker went ahead and took off our loan. Those are all relative cell references. Now let's copy this down. I'm going to highlight and double click. I'm going to go down to the end, control down arrow. Whoa, what's going on there? We have all sorts of trouble. Yeah. Uh, Let's just notice um, 240, it's 0. We're going to see how to turn all this on. That's a bunch of junk there. But I want to add one more. I mean, there's a problem with our how we enter these formulas. But I want to do one other thing here to create even more trouble. And then we have to figure out you know, how to fix it. So come up here. Let's just say right here. Uh, we got an inheritance, and we just smartly took the 25,000. And we want to reduce our principal. Make sure uh, the you know contracts are set up the way they are. You usually have to notify them that, that this is going towards principal, or they may not uh, do that. Well, what are we going to have to do? Even even here's an example of formula crea crea creation trouble, right? If I put this here, what what amongst all these do you have to change? Well, if this is for principal, then it's obviously this cell right here. And this is a simple fix. I've done this in other videos. We just come to that particular location. We say, hey, how do we fix it for this one? And then you copy it up, and you copy it down. Double click, right? And does it still appear to work? Yeah, because these are all zeros over here, right? Right, there's there'll be even more of a problem now because now the the amount uh, the er, the we were paying off the loan even earlier. So here's what you do: you come down and you say, okay, well this area right here is the point at which it turns from positive to negative. So maybe we could derive some of the logic of how to fix this from here. And really, what's happening? What happened here? Um, this is the balance. 
and this is the monthly payment. Well, look, what's the relationship between those? This is less than this. So let's come here. I'm going to copy this control C and I'm going to see if I can make a little formula because it, at this point the relationship between these two this is less than that everything after that should be uh, we should be finished with our loan so I'm going to say if this relative cell reference right is less than my PMT right there then now we're going to type a comma, and if that is true, what do we want? Well, really, remember, we owe this plus any interest on the uh, this amount for the one-month period. So we're going to say that's all right there, times, and the way you get the full amount plus any interest is you go in parentheses 1 plus, and then we need our period rate right there. And I'm going to hit the F4 key once and twice. Right, so that'll give us uh, the exact amount, principal owed, and the interest, comma otherwise, which means we're uh, this amount right here is greater than the actual payment. Then we want just the regular payment. Now I'm going to close parentheses, Control Enter. Notice it worked right there. Now I'm going to double click and send it down. Looks like it's working there, and I'm going to drag it up. So this is an example of how you know you, you're changing, you're trying to figure out how to get some, some table of formulas to work. You try something, it messes all up. We went to that point, and we tried to figure out some logic of how to fix it. Now it looks like I already applied the number format, so I'm going to come up here, highlight these, control shift down arrow, and control shift tilde to get, uh, to, to get rid of all the formatting. So if you come down here, see all those zeros there. Now I want to add some uh, custom number formatting, so I'm going to Control-1. And I want to show you a little trick about custom number formatting. You know, you have to type it out by hand, and sometimes it gets pretty cr uh, uh, complicated here. It's a great trick. You click on whichever one you want, right? I'm going to click there, and then when you click on custom, it shows you it. So look, this part gives us the comma, this gives us the decimals, and there's a dollar sign. Well, I don't want a dollar sign just because it muddies it up, so I'm going to delete that. You can see the preview there. But here's the trick. With custom number formatting, there's four zones. Zone number one is what to do if that number is positive. Then you hit semicolon. The next zone, I'm going to put a copy this right here. Copy, and I'm going to put a minus and then control V. That's the zone. The sec second zone is for negative. And then I'm going to put a semicolon. And if you don't put anything, it'll not put anything in the cell. The third zone is zero, so I'm not going to put anything. Comma, the fourth zone is text. Now I'm going to copy this just because I'll use it later to show you another example. I'm going to click OK. Okay, so now all of those zeros and everything is all clean. It just shows it's a blank. Now let's look at an example over here. Uh, positive, negative, zero, and text. I'm going to highlight this, Control-1. Click on Custom, and I'm just going to paste this, Control-V. So there it is, because we left those blanks. Boom. The uh, zero and the text doesn't show, but these two numbers show with that particular uh, formatting. All right, let's uh, try something else here. We paid off uh, 35000 so that should significantly uh, shorten the time. And there you go, uh, amortization table with an extra column to pay off the loan early, a little formula creation trouble, and how to figure out some logic to fix your formulas and custom number formatting. All right, we'll see you next trick.